was a child, painting was the only way I could express myself freely. Everything I did and didn't understand, it all flowed through the tip of my paintbrush. All that I saw lived within my paintings. Whatever I thought, I painted into reality. This power to turn fantasies into reality gradually caught the interest of many. Tales of the arcane artist spread far and wide. I took great joy in my skills improving. However, I discovered to my dismay that my parents were using my creations to turn a quick profit. They were sold at unbelievable prices. Some sought beauty in enchanted worlds, using the paintings as a distraction from reality. Others resorted to hellish nightmares to inflict torment upon those they desire. My own abilities had led my paintings astray. They were being exploited, and everything was spiraling out of control. After I realized this, I began to fear holding a brush. I tried to paint without relying on my abilities, but my parents scolded me for it. They called anything painted without using my abilities worthless. After the family business fell apart, my parents vanished without a trace. They may have left behind a considerable mess, but freedom has also been returned to my brush. Xiehua Village was my first stop upon arriving in Jinzhou alone. Waters and mountains rest by the pain. Valleys and peaks in the dream remain. Colors of vanity washed away. The painted world fades, forgotten today. A poem I wrote, inscribed on serenity in Xiehua Village. I know it's not that well written, but it's proof of my decision to stop everything I was doing. And that painting, well, it became the arcing artist's final piece of art. Ever since that day, paintings with special abilities gradually faded from everyone's minds. And I never used my abilities to paint again. <laughs>